So hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to a new team review video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with Tottenham or Spurs or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm going to show you the best formation, the best lineup, the best tactics and the best instructions. So if you want to see that, please stay tuned. Uh, but first of all, I want to thank you very much for watching of course. Please leave a like under the video if you think this video is useful for you. Uh, if you win some matches with it, uh, I really want to know. Uh, let me know in the comments also. Um, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more of these videos, like more other teams, I'm going to do some reviews for other teams as well. Uh, after a while, I'm going to update videos uh, with gameplay also with examples in it. So you can see how the tactics and how the instructions uh, are used in the gameplay. Uh, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure you will subscribe to my channel. And if you have to say something or want to ask me something, drop it in the comment section below. Uh, I'm going to start with the formation. It's a 4-2-2-2 formation. The lineup, Loris is the goalkeeper. OEA is the right defender, Aldo Weirold and Sanchez are the central defenders and Rose is the left defender. We have Ndombele and we have Ali as the central defensive midfielders. Ndombele will be the most defensive one and Ali is more like the playmaker getting forward also. So that's the difference between these two guys. Then we have Mura or Lucas. Uh, he is the right uh, central attacking midfielder but he is more playing like a right winger. Uh, because he is uh, that by nature. With his pace and his dribbling, he will be amazing at the right side. Crosses the ball, scoring some goals, he's really good at that side. Then we have Eriksen, he is more like a central attacking midfielder by nature and he's also playing like that in this formation. So uh, yeah, that's why I choose him. Between the difference between Eriksen and Mora, you can surprise your opponent with that. Uh, we have Kane and we have Son. Both are strikers, of course. Uh, then we go into the tactics. Pressure on heavy touch with a width of six bars, depth of seven bars. Offensive style is balanced with a width of seven bars. Players in the box, four bars. Corners and free kicks, both three bars. But that's not uh, anything about the instructions or tactic. Doesn't matter that much. Um, all Instructions for all defenders are default. Then we're going to end Don Bele. Good passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover center. Then we're going to Ali. Good passing lanes and cover center. So balanced attack because you want them forward also. Uh, we have Mura just default, Ericsson just default, Kane is just default, and Son only thing I changed is get in behind. So let's see the substitutes. We have Dyer, we have Lo Celso, we have Sissoko, we have Lamela, Gazaniga, I think that's his name, uh, is the goalkeeper, Davies and Vertongen. Uh, I'm not using Vertongen uh, at the starting lineup because he is the slowest defender of all three. Uh, Sanchez much, fa much faster. And he's pretty good at defense also. And all the way it is also pretty slow, but he's, uh, he has one more pace than Vertongen has. But I don't like to play with two slow defenders, so that's why I'm using Sanchez. Um, the most times I'm using uh, Lo Celso and Sissoko to replace uh, Ndombele or Ali when they are get tired. Sometimes Mura or Eriksen need to be replaced. You can play Lo Celso as an attacking midfielder. Also, you can use Lamela as well, uh, but I'm not using him that much. So, that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like under the video. It will really help me a lot. If you didn't subscribe yet, make sure you will do that as well. And if you have to say something or want to ask me something, drop it in the comment sections below. Have a really great day. Hopefully, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.